In this video, we will talk about the 10 most insane houses you won't believe exist. Maybe it's the architect, the location, or the owner. These homes are surely an out-of-the-box inspiration for all homeowners out there. A result of imaginative visions with the help of talented builders. Let's step into these unconventional houses that will make your jaw drop. Hi everyone, welcome back with another video. For this list, we're going to look at out-of-the-ordinary house designs all over the world that people actually live in. What do you think will make the list? But before we proceed, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to get updates of our newest uploads. If you're ready, join us in our real estate field trip day and check out these insanely amazing houses on our list. And number 10, Unusual Trailer. South Texas, among other things, is also known for its flash floods. So when a client wanted to put his 1950s vintage 12-meter trailer next to a river without having it swept away by flash flooding, architect Andrew Hinman found a solution to a very unusual client design dilemma. To guarantee that the 12-meter trailer would stay in place even after the flash floods, he lifted the trailer 1.5 meters above the floodplain which is 9 meters above the rivers and onto concrete piers. He then built a new Swiss army knife-like accessory for the trailer, complete with a sleeping tower with an air-conditioned bathroom. Since the owner is allergic to insect bites, the veranda was made screened in. Underneath the floorboards, steel screens are placed to make sure the living spaces were completely secure. And number 9, Glass Walled Cabin. Have you ever dreamt of watching the sunset and stargazing at night without living the comforts of your home? Those concepts had realized the first house on our list. Lilla Horwitz, an artist, and Nick Olson, a photographer, started dating in November 2011. Although they are still on the process of knowing each other, the idea of a home of a shelter that they could share with each other became a central in their relationship. Seven months later, with a little bit of money, they left their jobs and started the project. Keeping the vision of their house in mind, they scavenged through abandoned structures and barns in the area. They began depiercing the roofs, uprooting the collecting nails, prying off heavy planks, and pulling apart the barns. They even drove to New York to collect the materials they needed for the building, especially the windows that would serve as the walls of the house. Nick and Lilla have even rummaged windows from piles of garbage just to achieve the look that they want. They spent an additional $500 on additional materials. As of December 2012, with a few furnitures and fixtures, their artistic vision, ingenuity, and resourcefulness resulted in a great build of their dream house, the Antique Glass House. Number 8. Floating Chalet Sometimes getting away from all the hassles of the city life is beneficial. Going somewhere where technology has minimal usage, it allows you to distress and recharge yourself anew. To distress a beach would be nice. Camping along the riverside isn't a bad idea as well. But how about sleeping at a free floating eco lodge? Yes, a floating mini house. Insane, right? Located in the Netherlands and designed by Marie Bégy, the project was developed to celebrate nature's beauty. The floating eco lodge is built from FSC certified western red cedar and tempered safety glass that fits into the aluminum frame and is also powered through a solar panel. It can accommodate 10 people during the day and up to 4 people at night since it only has 4 beds. This can serve as an ultimate vacation destination for some quality meantime or with some friends now that you know it exists. At number 7, we have the Dizzy House. You can be dizzy, animals can be dizzy too. But would you believe there is a Dizzy House? The Fallen Star is a home built by Do Hu Su, an artist from Seoul, South Korea. The home is built teetering on the edge of engineering building at the University of California. The inspiration behind the build was the Husu's feeling when he was plucked out from Seoul to the United States to study. He has to leave his familiar and comfortable life and plunged into the dizzying, unfamiliar environment. Even though the house looks like it's going to fall off the building, the people behind the construction that is actually safe to come inside the house or even stay in it. The house from the inside looks like an average American home. It has a living room, 
kitchen, and bedroom. It is in fact fully furnished with fireplace. Although no one has been living in the house because of its awkward tilt and the dizzying effect. Throughout the day, there is a simulated smoke in the form of a steam that comes out of the chimney. If you look closer at the picture frames, it shows that people from the engineering department looking at a seemingly misplaced house will just let you shake your head in amusement to the mind behind it. At number 6, we have the Hobbit Tree House. I know, Hobbit houses are common and it's not mind-boggling as it was eons of years ago. There are even different versions of the Hobbit House globally. However, the one that made it on our list today is not the usual Hobbit houses that are built into a hill or shire-like areas, but they are Hobbit houses built on trees. Originally built by Sunray Kelly, these Hobbit tree houses on Orca's Island in Washington State evoked a certain charm reminiscent of the Ewok village in The Return of the Jedi. In relation to the Hobbit House hype due to the Lord of the Rings movie in 2002, Suzanne Dej, whose name includes an apostrophe, bought the structure and spent the next eight years fixing it up and opened it to the public as a property for rent. Those who were able to stay there stated that the place was secluded and breathtaking and some said it was enchanting and cozy too. I bet if the hobbits decide to leave their hillside abodes, moving to these trees would certainly make them feel still at home. At number 5, Teeny House. If you live in a city, rent can be expensive, so you decide to build a home, but would that be even more expensive? But there aren't many options, but not for this Israeli writer Edgar Carrot. Carrot built his house in a 14 square meter space between two buildings. This could even pass as the narrowest house in the world. With the help of a Polish designer of Centrala Jakub Shizeni, wow, that's a mouthful. Both were able to accomplish a 1.2 meter wide studio wedge in between the gap of two buildings. Despite the size, which is a meter wide, it has a desk, a bedroom, bathroom, kitchenette, and dining area. The house has an all-glass facade allowing the bedroom plenty of light during daytime. You might be wondering if the person living in this teeny house is sleeping comfortably. Well, his bedroom has a 1 meter wide mattress, a good size enough for him, and a desk where he can do his writing work. The house wards off claustrophobics. And number 4, we have Geodesic Home. At first glance, this 807 square feet vacation home in Oban, Scotland owned by Jim Milligan and Nicola Meekin, this classic mid-century modern design geodesic house is built in a birch tree forest on the edge of the small cliff, with a single membrane of recycled PVC and wood steel struts. The majority of the membrane's parts have an opaque finish and are UV resistant. Its windows and ceiling fans ensure that the entire house is cool at all times. Given the size of the house, the owners have to be smart when it comes to the design of the house, the furniture that works with the design of the house, and even with its storage. At number 3, we have Buried Home. Normally, most houses are built on top of the earth, but the house on this list is built into the earth. The Dutch Mountain House is a half-buried house designed by an architectural firm in the Netherlands called De Nieuw Vegenerati. The semi-underground house is an experiment on sustainable architecture. Looking at the house from the back, it looks like a distorted mountain. Even though half of the house is buried, it is surprisingly bright and welcoming inside. Inside, you can see plain painted finishes with a mix of finished exposed concrete. The rooms underground have a cave-like atmosphere with large open southern lit spaces in front with the views towards the surrounding woods or what daylight has taken down through deep cuts in the hill. At number 2, we have Missile Silo Home. Since the decommissioning of most missile silos in 1964, a few silos were abandoned and some were even up for sale. The missile silo in upstate New York was one that went on sale. It was reported to be sold at a six-figure amount. Well, to be pretty honest, the silo still gives off that vibe of a Cold War era, even if it has been abandoned for years and has been no longer housing nuclear warheads. 
Despite its eerie vibe, the Australian architect Alexander Michael have converted the Cold War relic into a modern home. Just like any home, it has a full kitchen and turned the lower level of the control room. Michael designed platform beds with industrial wheels and grab rails. He even left the original launch control console to tinker with. And last but not the least, at number one, Salvage Plane Home. It is indeed true that other people's trash is other people's treasure. When Francie Rewald, a go-year-old retiree, decided to build a mountainside house where she could spend the rest of her retirement years, she just had one major request, it has to have curves. It should be feminine. Find the housing project very challenging. It didn't stop them from doing whatever it takes to build the dream home. The project started at an airplane boneyard in the Mojave Desert in California, where the Boeing 747 aircraft was stored. Since there are still some parts of the plane that could be put to good use, especially the wings, David decided to use the wings of the plane as the roof of the 4,700 square foot home. At the lower level house, the wing reaches the master bedroom. From the bedroom, she can step out of the terrace and walk toward the end of the wing. I bet it would also be great to drink one on the wing during the afternoon. Wow, these houses are definitely insane in beautiful ways. When it comes to building your dream home, your money and your imagination really sets the limit. So did you enjoy our list? Do you know interesting houses that you should have made to this list? Let us know by leaving your comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell to be the first to get new updates once a new video is uploaded. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.